Oh, did I do as well? I wonder what this and this, what's in these devices. I took the filters out. Got two filters, you got one sitting like that. And they're sitting back to back like that inside. Inside here. A small opening, two holes that are a millimetre in size. All this just to save water. Uh, water goes in here, goes down here, through here, back up through here, then out of here. So water flows through this thing, it's some sort of a flow meter. I had an x-ray machine, I could see what the hell was inside this. It's kind of interesting. Maybe I could send it to Mark's electric stuff. He does all these tears and he has a, um, a uh, x-ray machine to store with. This isn't pretty hard. Yeah, it's pretty hard. I don't want to destroy the electronics inside it, but... Well, well you need an um, x-ray machine, yeah? Well, I'm guessing there's some sort of a hall sensor or something in here that runs off mains voltage. Just get this coming up the right way. There we go. So water goes in there, in there, through there and back out there in that direction. What I'm guessing is some sort of a hall sensor or something in here. It works like a water meter. If you look up electric smart water meters, it'd be a similar principle from if it's the same sort of thing. Well, it's just like a hall sensor. Water will have like a, um, or a magnetic water meter, what it's called. There's a slight connection between the water and the magnetic field. It's like a coil. When you run water through it, and you get a certain little, uh, or in this case, it's like a computer or some sort of a process that reads water flowing through a coil, like an inductor of some sort, and it picks up the magnetic field changes as the water flows through. This is probably something similar to that, but this has just got live and neutral going straight to it, so... There didn't seem to be anything that this plugged into. It just plugged straight into the um, control board. There wasn't any, uh, any other low voltage uh, circuitry that this went off. This just went straight to the mains off the uh, control board. This is probably a similar thing, but... Really effects of a mains hall sensor in here. Now that's your um, smart gas meters use an ultrasonic to pick up the flow of gas, but... I'm guessing it's that sort of technology for water. There'd be a, probably be a hall sensor in it operates at mains voltage. As the water goes in, it picks up a change in a magnetic field of some sort. If I could form some sort of circuit to hook this up to and run water through it and see what readings I get, I'd probably really need an oscilloscope and something, hook this up in series of light bulb or something small load, then read it, read it with an oscilloscope, see what sort of changes with the water flowing through it I'll get. It's kind of interesting why the, um, that we use just on a modern and new uh, smart appliances like these uh, dishwashers and front loader wash machines, all those new electronic computerized ones. Why do I would need something like this now? I don't know. It'd be interesting to find out, out of curiosity, why you would need something like that. Uh, either it's just to tell the appliance there's no water and it throw a code and beep at you or something. It could be as simple as that or it could be something more to it to do with efficiency or something and how much water's flowing through it or something like that. Or it's just some sort of a bloody water meter for somebody just to see how long the appliance lasts for it just stops working. I don't know. <laughs> but it, it'd be curious to find out. Anyway. Yeah, a good little uh, something that I could uh, I can try and figure out and, um, what do I call it, reverse engineer. If I had some sort of um, x-ray machine to see what's inside this, I'm guessing there's just like coils or something wrapped around here, here and here. That's what I'm guessing it's in there. And they're just connected in series and the mains is connected to them, or they're in parallel. That's just my guess. I right now if I cut them in half with a hacksaw and find what's really in there, but... It'd be interesting just to see what would happen if I um, hook up some sort of a circuit to this and run water through it and see what happens. But you really need some sort of a circuit or an oscilloscope to get a reading off it to find out how it actually works. It'd be interesting to find those sorts of things out in the appliances, uh, everyday objects now. It'd be nice to um, do a detailed explanation and tear down on one just to see what, what they are and how they work. Oh, I thought it'd be quite interesting. Um, this is my uh, 
and go on to Taiwan next week, so I've got to pack everything up here and just lock everything up like I did last year, just uh, secure the place a little bit. Well, I'll get some more metering videos too. I might bring this camera again just for the um, hell of it. And this time I'll also use my phone to film stuff. I try not to film it in portrait mode. <laughs> Bit of a pain in the ass, but it's more convenient using the phone and the camcorder in most parts, the places that I went. So I'll look at um, just see how much 3D printers and stuff over there. I know they're cheaper over there than here. But there's more of a range over there than here for stuff like that, so... Either way... I'll be, uh, Having some more fun anyway. Anyway... Thanks for watching.